Hey guys, Red Tan here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to become better at Call of Duty. Now, I have a whole list made up teaching you how to become better at Call of Duty, and I'm going to explain every little thing in this video and on this list on how to become better at Call of Duty. And if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, so let's hop straight into it. Guys, before I hop into the first thing on the list, I want to go ahead and say nothing on this list is more important than the other thing on this list. So, with that said, let's just hop straight into the video. Okay, guys, the first thing on the list is movement. Now, movement is crucial, whether it is drop shotting, jumping, thrusting up in the air, or wall running. Every one of those things is crucial, because if you can outmaneuver your opponent, it's probably a guaranteed gunfight win. And that gunfight could be crucial, round 5-5, five, five, COD champs. I don't know what you're playing in, but movement is crucial, so if you have better movement, you're probably guaranteed to pick up that kill every single time. Okay guys, another thing on the list is game sense. So game sense is basically like, say you're looking at the B-bomb set, okay, and you put three shots in a Jimmy, okay, and then you're holding it for 20 seconds and Jimmy didn't repeat and you're still holding it, Jimmy could be already behind you teabagging your head and then kill you because you have no game sense whether or not to turn around and check your flank or either just push B bomb site and get the bomb down because you know he's not going to be there anymore. So, guys, that's basically what game sense is. And the only ways to really improve this is playing a whole lot and watching pro streamers. So, that's definitely the best way to improve it. Okay, guys, another thing on this list is discipline. So, discipline is basically. Say Bobby's looking up mid-map with an AR, and you're peeking him with a VMP because you're like, I'm so good, I can destroy this kid. But on the other hand, that Bobby's freaking good too. And he's going to win the gunfight 10 out of 10 times because he has the AR, and he has the same skill as you. So he's going to destroy you and teabag your face because he has an AR and you have a VMP long range. He's going to win that gunfight a hundred percent of the time and it's because you have poor discipline and that can cost you the round and that can cost you the respawn game so if you have poor discipline you need to work on that and by working on that you can go into respawns and just when you're about to make a dumb play just stop yourself and then that way so when you play some GB's you can you can be like okay yep don't do this don't do this and then you know not to do it so that's probably the best way to uh, get some good discipline Okay guys, another thing on this list is communication. Now, communication is key, because if you have poor communication, you're not going to know where the players are going, know where they're rotating, know where they're sitting in a corner or not, or what the hell the other team does, until you just rush in that room and then find out when he's laying on the ceiling somehow, and you he kills you, and then you end up losing the S&D round, and it's because your teammate doesn't call it out because he might be toxic, or something and he's mad but he's not communicating which ends up you making you guys lose that round so by having bad communication can end up making you guys lose rounds making you guys lose games making you guys lose series making you guys lose events just everything it can make you lose communication is key on every team if you have poor communication your team's not gonna end up well okay guys another thing on this list is play when you're uncomfortable now I'm not talking about in real life I'm talking about in game so I'm talking about like say a sub long range or an AR close up so pull out an M8 and go play a nuketown and just get a feel for close range gunfights on close maps guys another thing on this list is stick to one weapon don't go using the M8 one day and then the VMP next day stick to a subclass or an AR class because if you stick to an AR class or a subclass and you stick with that weapon and play with it you'll become a lot better with that weapon rather than splitting your skills with two separate weapons and you'll see huge difference if you just play with one weapon you'll become a lot better player and you won't have to change how you play the game every class you pick so the way to practice on that is just go in the game and just use that weapon the whole game throughout in every game mode and if you're on if you're used to only using this weapon find out different ways to position yourself and become familiar with that weapon 
Okay guys, another thing on the list is you don't need the most expensive things on the market to play good. Now I believe there's two things you need on the market to play good. A good, good monitor and a good headset. Now those two things will improve your game very drastically and they will provide a huge difference. But you don't need no scuff controller to play amazing because you can just learn how to play claw and it's basically a free scuff controller. And you don't need everything on the market just to play out of your mind. Your potential is in your hands and in your mind. And only two things are going to make a difference in that state is a monitor and a headset because those will enhance your reaction time and your hearing in your game. So you'll become an all around better player with just those two things. Okay, guys, another thing on this list is learn how to anchor and play with your teammates. Now, if you don't know what anchoring is, it's basically where you have an AR and you sit and you sit in the spot where you want your teammates to spawn. So, same anchoring back of um, evac because the next hard point is right next to that, and then that will make your team able to spawn right there, get closer, and potentially break the hill and have more time on the hill, and therefore you'll probably end up winning that hill and maybe winning the map. So. If you learn how to play good with your teammates, it's also going to help because you'll you'll be able to break hills more. You'll play S and D a lot better and a lot more solid. So those things you'll work on by just practicing with your team and just practicing all around as a player. Okay, guys, the last and final thing on this list that's just as important as any other thing on this list is watch streams. Now. I'm not talking about go watch this guy that just picked up Call of Duty for the first time. No, I'm talking about like Scumpy or Crim6 or Formal and learn how to play the game and learn some game sense from them and therefore it will make you a better player and you'll have more knowledge inside the game and you'll just be an all around better player. Okay guys, that's everything on the list. So if anything on that list did indeed help you or will help you, make sure you smack the like button below and subscribe. It's been your boy Red. Peace.